Hi everyone, Brian Tomaszewski here. In this GIS software tutorial, I will teach you about cartographic design and map making in the ArcGIS Pro software environment. If you want to learn how to use real world GIS datasets with the cartography tools of ArcGIS Pro, this GIS software tutorial is for you. In this GIS software tutorial, you will first gain experience and knowledge of background concepts of cartographic design that include scale and generalization, color, visual hierarchy, figure and ground relationships, typographic guidelines, label placement strategies, and map elements. After discussing these concepts, I will then guide you through a hands-on tutorial where the concepts are put into practice, where you will be able to create a reference map in ArcGIS Pro and perform tasks such as compiling data sets, symbolizing data, creating labels, and creating layouts. I will also show you many tips and tricks with ArcGIS Pro for cartography along the way. The specific steps I will use in the tutorial are available for download on my website. See the link below in the comments section of this video for more information. Let's next discuss background concepts of cartographic design that later in these videos you will translate into practice through the hands-on ArcGIS Pro GIS software tutorial. The first important idea is map scale. Map scale is a ratio or proportion between measurements on the map and corresponding measurements on the ground. Thus, the idea of map scale is exactly the same concept of scale used in the hobby of model building or any other domain where a real life entity is represented in a reduced or modeled manner, as you can see in these examples. In a mapping context, Map scale is important in terms of how much geographical area and detail can be shown, often referred to as a small scale or large scale map. These maps taken from the USGS topographic map series show the differences between small and large scale maps. Note how the map on the left shows a larger overall area, but with less detail. As the map scale changes, by moving to the right through the figure, smaller areas are shown, but with more detail. Because it is impossible to show geographic features exactly how they are in the real world at every scale, map features are abstracted when presented on maps. In particular, features are often generalized to reduce information content of maps depending on the scale of the map. These images show some examples of generalization concepts from tools available to you in ArcGIS Pro. For more information on generalization, see link below in the video comments. Of course, you're probably very familiar with the concepts of cartographic scale and generalization, whether you knew it or not. For example, modern digital mapping tools fundamentally incorporate these concepts. Note how as you zoom in, or zoom out on a digital map like OpenStreetMap, shown here, how the various map features become generalized based on the viewing scale that is shown. Of course, color is an important aspect in cartographic design. When selecting colors for your map, keep in mind the audience that your map is for. For example, People have come to connotate certain colors with certain map features, such as blue for water or green for forests. Additionally, consider the type of final product that your map will be. For example, if it's a printed map, will the color retain if the map is converted to black and white? Or are you using colors that are safe for people who are colorblind? An industry standard tool for helping make choices in selecting colors for cartographic design is the Color Brewer tool. In this example, you can see how Color Brewer can be very helpful 
for selecting color palettes depending on the type of data being mapped, such as quantitative or qualitative, as well as other technical considerations such as color blindness, print friendly, or photocopy. In fact, many of the color palettes from Color Brewer are now directly available in the ArcGIS Pro software environment. Visual hierarchy is the idea that map features are presented in a manner that implies the relative importance of each feature. Often, the visual hierarchy is a true through visual contrast of map features. For example, this image shows an example of a poor visual hierarchy. It is difficult to determine what the most important features on the map are, as there is little visual contrast between map features. By comparison, this image shows an improved visual hierarchy. As you can see, the circular map features are now creating a better visual contrast that implies that the circular map features are more important relative to the other map features. A closely related topic to visual hierarchy is that of figure and ground relationships. In a mapping context, figure and ground refers to the visual display of information such that the elements that are intended to be the map's focus of intention or figures are visually contrasted from map elements that provide context or ground to the figure elements. For example, this image shows poor figure ground relationships as the figure and ground are ambiguous and cannot be determined from one another. By comparison, this image that shows a hypothetical disaster example where the point of origin and impact zone of an explosion are displayed in black to make them the figures as they are the most important map features. The surrounding land use polygons are shown in a light gray and form the ground to provide better visual context for the explosion. This image also shows an example of figure ground relationships for a hypothetical disaster map, but in this case, lighter colors are used to establish the figure of the disaster areas and darker colors are used to establish the ground or areas that surround the disaster area. Both of these approaches for establishing figure ground relationships are valid, and it is up to the map designer to determine which approach is best, and ultimately, which will be easily interpreted by the map reader. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.